I'm going to give you the best technical analysis that I have ever released on YouTube. Yes, you heard that right. This video, I'll be giving you a deep dive into the technical analysis right now. I'll be sharing not only the trades that I have upcoming, but also the targets for them and the reasons behind these trades. So yeah, I'm going to be sharing a lot of information. Some of the technical analysis topics are fairly complex. Uh, I'm, aware, I'm aware of their complexity, so I'm going to try and simplify it the best I can. So, you know, my aim of this video is truly just going to be to help you share some information, share some insights and get you prepared. You know, you are going to have a plan and be prepared for what is to come next. It's going to be a big, big week to come. Uh, I'm going to get you ready for it. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm starting this video. You can't see me as the webcam is off, but I have a very, very big smile on my face as I truly believe I can help you. Uh, I can help you greatly of what's to come in this market. So uh, yeah, let's just get straight into it. That's enough talking. Let's move on to what you're here for. That's the technicals. That's the trades. And uh, you know, you want to know what's coming next. So let's just get cracking. Um, so obviously we have this sideways range that we've been trading within, right? We had that range high where we rejected from, we rejected from, and then yesterday we got to move up to the top of the range. This is a failed auction, very similar to what we saw a few weeks ago, right? Where we had another failed auction of around $27,000. Well, here we saw a failed auction once more. I'm going to break this down. I'm going to make it a little bit slower. I'm going to you know, probably take about five minutes explaining the past 24 hours here. Okay, I'm going to really go into a lot of detail so you can understand it fully, okay, and educate you. Then we'll be moving on to what's happening next and the larger targets that we have for that. But as always, I'm going to start off here and I'm going to educate you of why we rejected from where we did. So there's this very interesting tool that we use, concept of Igor Sessions. Uh, this was my daily morning update from yesterday. OK, so yesterday we were still trading within the range here, right? I was telling my team, you know, we are at a 50 50 point. I wouldn't long. I wouldn't short here. We're right in the middle of the range. There's there's not a trade here. We need to wait for, you know, or how I trade is wait for the outer boundaries of the range. Interestingly enough, above the top of the range, we had this naked session Igor POC. So this was a lovely level, slightly out of the range that has not been tapped yet, 26,290. Okay. We actually then later that day, well, actually in the evening, we came up and we tapped this Igor session. Okay. So this is a level of resistance, as you can see here, which is untapped. Later that evening, we come up and we tap that level. That fell into the plan of coming up above the range high, tapping and rejecting from that eagle session, and then coming back down for once again a failed auction. I'm going to go into the order flow now and show you what the order flow was like upon hitting that eagle session yesterday, okay? We actually started to form a sideways range. If we come down onto the one minute chart, or, you know, let's, yeah, one minute chart will be fine. You can actually see how upon the hitting that high, we back tested the channel. We came up to the range high once more. We formed a swing failure pattern of the low. We then come up, we come up, we come up, and we done a swing failure pattern of the range high. Okay, so after we form that swing failure pattern of the range high, okay, which in itself is a valid short trade, just as the swing failure pattern of the range low, there is a valid long trade. You know, this is a one minute chart for your low, low term time frame traders. But what happens next is very important. So we formed the swing failure pattern. After that swing failure pattern, we actually come for the CC retest, okay? So what I mean by the CC retest is a Fibonacci level that we love to use. And we can see how we come up to that from Fibonacci from that high to low. We come in and reject all around that CC zone. But the more important thing on the order flow was the big bearish divergences that we're forming. This is showing us absorption. So for the people that are unaware of what this is, this is basically showing us a lot of longs opening at market all positions closing when you're declining on open interest, but the CVD is increasing, uh, but price is making lower highs. So what this tells us is that the bigger traders are sat there with limit orders shorting this. They're absorbing all of those market orders that are entering as limit orders absorb that price action. You know, they're filling short positions here. This is your first early sign of bearishness. Okay. Uh, the next bearish sign, which I'm going to go through here, is we formed a CME gap yesterday. So yesterday we actually gapped up on the CME chart, not only on the stock market ES, but also on Bitcoin. We also formed a um, 
we also formed a CME gap. So we had some gaps below us. We know they like to be filled. We had what I feel the most important as well. We also had this lovely CCV setup. So this is another um, lovely trade that we like to take within chart champions. And we had this target <laughs> perfectly, by the way, $25,603, which if you notice, by the way, was the absolute low of this move currently. But we had a few factors. We had the CCV setup. We had the bearish divergences. We had the CME gap. And we just had the, you know, the overall plan still, right, of that failed auction of an eagle session so this started to come more and more and more to fruition right so i this is you know this is an advantage of being a champion i alerted to my team for me i'm taking the short trade now go check the timestamps. this was before the very large drop that we saw 10 44 a.m uk time i'm telling my team for me i'm taking the short now i had a lot of questions uh over the next you know 10 minutes daniel um you know are you, you know, why are you taking this short, you know, relatively early? We hadn't really confirmed any sort of failed auction at this point. You know, I'm going to explain now, because I've already answered the questions in my group, but for the people that aren't in it, um, you know, for me, it was the context of the market, the context of the market, along with the technical analysis and idea that I had of that failed auction. I had the idea for the failed auction that we hadn't actually fully executed it yet. I was looking at the CME gap. I'm looking at those divergences. I'm looking at the order flow. I'm looking at the CME gap. And for me, this is all coming together with just a strong probability that we're going to get a drop. Okay. So I, as always, make the plan. Step number one, trade the plan. Step number two, and then <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely profit from the plan as we got that strong move to the downside. And that hit the previous day vow, which is the target of the CCV setup, which pretty much timed the absolute low of that wick, by the way. Like that, that's an accurate setup. So we had the acceptance below previous day value area high. There's a 30 minute close. There's a subsequent consecutive 30 minute close. Next candle, bam down to the CCV target. That is a take profit on that short trade. Okay. And from that take profit on the short trade, which was pretty much the loan, look at the bounce that we've had. You know, it might not look like anything significant, but that is target hit to the higher this bounce currently, just over 1%. So, you know, that's, that's you know, the, the, the talk through of what's happened here. And I want to start to move on to what's happening next, right? But just so I can show you here, from me giving the alert to my team of entering that trade, of taking that short trade, you know, 10, 15 minutes later, getting the drop, you can see what you can achieve basically, right? Legendary trade, this guy achieved his daily salary goals. Uh, this guy achieved his monthly salary. Um, you know, so grateful for the educational content from the coaches and next week vacation will get even better than planned. Um, so, you know, as this guy says as well over on Twitter, the alert in Discord was very strong and on time. The champions <laughs> go, let's go. You know, so this is, you know, this is what you can expect to see with inside the champions group, right? It's all our thought processes. Just, you know, this, for example, was last week on the 31st of August where I gave the failed auction setup. And then we obviously saw the large drop off of that. And once again, we had the same setup, failed auction. Well, then we all know we saw the large drop off at the back of that. So our setups and theories are very similar to what we use. But, the you know, the advantage of this is you can get really big returns, for a very well controlled risk. So obviously, let me just spend a minute talking about this. We all know there's no 100% win rates in trading. We all know there's the possibility to lose a trade and you are going to lose trades. It's part of the game. But what you want to do is get setups which give you very small um, risk in terms of the invalidation stop loss to the potential reward. So then even if you're on a 50% win rate, you take 10 trades, you win five, you lose five, you're still walking away with a great amount of profit. Even on a 50, 40, even on a 30% win rate, <laughs> winning three out of seven trades, if you're trading with the correct risk management and good trade setups, well, even on a 30% win rate, you can be walking away with hard, cold profits. And that's what you're here for, right? That's what you're learning. It's what you're striving towards. It's not for any sort of ego. It's not to say, hey, look at this. You know, it's actually to just, you know, take this seriously, make this your full-time job and, you know, provide for yourself, provide for your family off of trading. That's what I know your goal is. That's what you want. And that's what you can achieve if you take this seriously. Um, you know, and that's what, that's what I'm trying to guide you towards and, and, you know, get you up to that level. So, um, 
yeah, that's uh, what I wanted to mention. And now I would like to move on to what we are looking at next. Of course, I, I think you're all aware, right? I have a higher term time frame bearish bias. I've made it very clear several times, even on the setup that I gave today. You know, you can clearly see the target back down below the range low. So the question is, are we going to get down here? Or actually, was the CCV target, um, you know, going to hold us up? Is that the local low, basically? And we won't reach the low of the range. Even though I'd, you know, I've made it clear, I'd like to see that triple bottom taken out. Doesn't mean it's definitely going to happen. There's no guarantees, and that's why we, of course, take a take profit one to protect us if we are incorrect on coming down to the range low. Okay, uh, I'd like to actually just mention one thing very briefly, and this is a wow, a, a very important thing indeed. Uh, of course, you've all known and seen us trading in the World Series of Trading. Uh, I came thirty third in that competition within Chart Champions ending with a uh, 53% uh, overall account gain. So, you know, neither, you could say it's neither absolutely amazing, it's no 1,000, 10,000% gains, but it's also not poor, right? So I ended with about 53% account gain over the course of three weeks. And so why am I mentioning this? First of all, I'm just here to show you, you know, what is possible. I don't, I don't think you can turn your nose down and say it's bad. You know, 50% account gain in three weeks of trading during the World Series of Trading. Um, you know, what I'm showing you here is, you know, keep, that's with no leverage, by the way. So that's that's one thing that is kind of impressive. Like no leverage. Obviously, I was helped by over a 20% drop on Bitcoin, right? <laughs> it's obviously short, um, you know, but slow and steady gains. Keep it slow. Keep it steady. There's no need to go crazy. You know, you are going to take some losses. I didn't have a 100% winner. It took some losses. But, you know, if you just keep it slow, steady, focused, you know, you can absolutely increase account size you know when you take that into compounding you think about what's possible you know relatively small amounts can turn into crazy gains um without leverage when you just follow your plans and stick to the plans and that wasn't the main thing that i was talking about here i was going to expand upon the world series of trading how that was a hit well we've decided to do something even better and that is um you know every month now we're actually going to be giving away a ten thousand dollar prize pool in connection also with bybit right um where you know if you followed along on our short trades calls you could be a major profits but what's even better than this well win your trades and then win even more via our new monthly competition so up to ten thousand dollars prize giveaway every month only for the champion members open for everybody inside of the champions membership, right? So you can make money on top of your existing profits. So this is a new competition that we are hosting every month, giving away up to $10,000. So essentially you can be in the champions membership. You can be following along on calls like this and making profits. And then on top of that, you can be entering into the leaderboard and then actually, you know, profit on top of that if you're in the top five inside of this competition. I think this is an absolutely, uh, well, personally, I'm, I'm very excited. And I think this is an amazing opportunity to be able to not only learn, but also, you know, you can learn with us, you can then trade with us. And now you can profit actually on top of your existing profits, right? So this is like a no brainer um, to, to, to be in the champions membership, in my opinion, like you, you really are set up for some real good uh for a real good future let's just say that especially if you actually are dedicating yourself to this you're trading well well then you can enter the leaderboard and make profits on top of your profits you know this this literally is you're a very nice step into becoming a full-time trader if you are already a full-time trader just bagging some extra money on top of that right so yeah new monthly competition for all champion members uh the new chart champions arena every month giving away ten thousand dollars to the people who finish on top again you can join that as a champion member via our website on the left hand side here under the competition so yeah i obviously wanted to make everybody aware of that because that is a brand new feature that's been added to chart champions and uh, yeah, i am very excited indeed for that cool so moving on to the technical analysis of what is to come next uh, of course we've bounced around that zone of the previous day value area later remember this is on a 50 tick chart uh, where it looks as if it's been hit on a one tick. It's slightly moved uh, above it, but nevertheless, we're bouncing on and around that previous day value area low zone, right? So that's the first you know, reason of this current bounce under the way. Secondly, of course, we got that stock market moving up currently, which also does aid Bitcoin, okay? With you know the reverse 
the move down on the DXY, by the way, off of the monthly and major level. So there is some um, external factors, we could say, of stock market moving up, DXY moving down. This does help Bitcoin move up. So we've got that of our correlated and inversely correlated markets alongside, of course, Bitcoin simply bouncing off that zone of the uh, CCV target. So there's a few factors here. Um, you know, so the question that we could be thinking now is, are we, you know, are we going to miss out our target of this triple bottom? For me, this is a major level of liquidity. And I do think that it's absolutely primed for the taking. You know, this is a, this is a big liquidity level. Okay. We're building up stops. We're building up stops. You know, my thought process has to be, I feel there's a high probability of taking this out. Um, my thoughts, you know, playing devil's advocate or not even devil's advocate, but as a professional trader that does this day in, day out, now I've been doing this 13 years, I can have very high confidence and even a high probability based off of my statistics, we will take out this low. You know, I, I feel that we will. But my feelings and my wants don't equal trade setups, right? What equals a trade setup is... Uh, a high probability entry trigger, e.g. a failed auction. So I'm not going to just take a trade here because I feel we're going down. Now, I'll wait for a very good opportunity. That was a good opportunity this morning. We took it. We got a drop. I recognize, is there the possibility that we form the higher low, that we miss this temporarily? Well, the answer is yes. We, we could rally up from here, right? We could rally up. So I, as a professional, recognize that as a, as a person that understands probabilities. Um, so my thought process is this. Still, while we remain locally more so, right? But below 28K, which is our previous high, there's still a very high probability that we're going to take this out. So my thought process would be, even if we get a rally, I'm still looking for that short opportunity to take it back down. So even if we rally up first, while we remain below a sign of strength, I can still look for this to eventually come down and hit my target. So my thought process is, is very simple. I would look to short rallies until a sign of strength, okay? And a sign of strength for me is really that higher term time frame market structure change, to be honest with you. But I'd also start to see, are we actually ever going to see bullish divergences? At the moment, it's bearish, 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 right? But if we start to see some bullish divergences, if we actually start to see some good order flow, well, that could also be a, an earlier heads up without having to see that, that market structure change. So I'm very much focused on the order flow, okay? Well, exactly where you see here, like, bearish divergences, 26,300, well, we drop $1,000. So, you know, these are major things to be aware of. You've got to be checking the order flow if you want to trade successfully. It's just as simple as that. Okay. Well, I take that back. You don't need to, but you're going to be a lot better trader if you do. So, um, you know, I'd be looking at the order flow and I'd be always thinking to myself, there's a very high probability still that we'll take out these three lows. Of course, we could rally first before taking it out, but un leaving that untapped liquidity for me is not a high probability. Uh, so I would thus look to short rallies um, until I see a sign of strength. And if we see that sign of strength, then I'll, I will take a loss on those shorts. As I mentioned before, happy to take a loss. It happens. Uh, you know, during that last World Series of Trading competition, I took some losses, but I still ended, you know, with 53% PL. So that just goes to show you in the long term, you know, you have to be focused on your goals, uh, on taking profits, having good invalidation stop losses. So even when a loss comes, which we will, you know, I'm not going to get wrecked. I'm not going to be sad about it. It will just be, hey, I, I was incorrect on this idea. Let's move on to the next trade. I want you to be thinking like a professional trader. You know, if you surround yourself with professionals, if you really, you know, put yourself around the best traders in the world, listen to us every single day, then you can transform your mindset and abilities, not only via the educational content, but via just hearing the thought process, hearing successful people that are making bank on this, uh, you know, just falling along and listening to them, right? So it's what we kind of offer at Chart Champions. We have got the best traders in the world where we have live trading streams where you can in the time watch the analysis watch the entries understand the stop loss understand the take profits all of that live in the time we then of course have the amas the trade recaps the round tables which is like a mastermind um you know we have the educational content from the courses so whether you are a beginner or whether you are an expert you know we got 
something for everybody here. Of course, majority are going to start at the beginner and you work your way up. And now on top of that, right, you work your way up and you can be entering the arena. So even when you are at master level, well, now you can be making money <laughs> from the chart champions group. So it's, it's a real, you know, I feel this is a real good opportunity. You know, I'm excited. Uh, I think we're meeting our goal of helping people learn to trade. That's our goal. That's why we're here. We offer a service and we do it in the most professional way possible. You know, we're focused on our group. We're focused on the success of our members. And, you know, we're here to just give a service and really help you change your life via trading. Um, we know it's possible. We've seen people do it. And, you know, we're here, you know, happily to do that, our job every day. So, yeah, if you like what you see in these type of videos on YouTube, just understand that the information given inside the group is more concise. It is, of course, in real time. You will be able to you know, understand this without having to wait one or two weeks for the next YouTube video because, uh, you know, I don't make these under any sort of schedule. It's just when I feel like it on YouTube. But on the group, you have daily videos, every single day videos, every single day updates. Um, you know, everything that you need is via the chartchampions.com website so yeah if you like any of that then you know where to get more of it via our website chartchampions.com check out the newest latest competition we're going to have a lot of fun in that and you know giving away a lot of money so yeah hope you've enjoyed thank you ever so much uh final summary would be overall yes i still expect these lows to be taken i still have my higher term time frame bearish bias if we do rally up before taking these lows i will still look to short that rally until we see a higher term time time frame sign of strength if we see that i can change my bearish bias take the loss okay i'll take the loss change my bias and update accordingly okay i'm happy to do that and if and when that does happen well of course the first people to know will be the champions inside of the group so cheers everybody thank you ever so much that's me signing out goodbye